So I found some old clothes in the cupboard that are ready just for the bin. Then I thought, really? We could do some art with these. There's a limited colour palette, but there is something creative we could do with these. You just have to be imaginative. So I've decided to do an owl, but I'm not going to do it like you would normally do, with browns and oranges and whites. I'm going to do a colourful owl. So all I've done at the moment is just draw a rough outline out. That's all you need. If you don't know how to draw a, a rough image out, have a look online and you can get a template that works just as well. You can use something like that. I want to add some drama to the back and I'm going to take my soft pastels again because they're really easy to use. But like I said before, you can use paints, crayons, colouring pencils, felt, anything you fancy or whatever you have lying around the home. So I want quite a moody dark background. So I'm using a dark blue. But I'm also incorporating some black. And like we always do, smudge it in. I want to add some white elements. And then some more blue onto the top. So just keep this technique going until you've covered the whole background. So it should begin to look a bit like this. Now I want to start with the eyes. So I found this material because I want some yellows and there are some little bits of yellow in this so we can use this. So all you are doing is cutting up a colour palette that you can see. So I just want to cut a yellowy circle. And it's going to stick it in there. So do the same for the other eye. So I've just stuck those down and I've cut some black out and just put some glue on. So I want quite dramatic eyes. And now I've cut out two tiny white bits. Just to put in his eye, so there's like highlights in the eye. Like so. I'm going to use this green I found next for the eyes around. And all I need to do is cut out two circles. So they fit in this area. And then cut out this eye area here so it fits around. And then stick them into place. like so. So 
we want to begin to create feathers for the body area. So just take your different fabrics of colours, layer them up so you can cut more than one feather at a time. And like we did when we did the other craft, you just need shapes. Shapes that look like this. Try and cut out as many colour varieties as you can. So you need to work backwards. So put some glue on at the base. Plenty of it. And start putting your pieces down like feathers. Now continue this until all this part of the body is complete. It should be now beginning to look like this. I want to create some different kind of shapes for the wings. So realistically you just need some longer pieces. I've picked the green because I thought the contrast would be quite nice. So you are basically just cutting out longer shapes. So almost that kind of shape. And then apply the same process. Put your glue down and begin to stick. Don't forget to go backwards again so you can overlay your pieces. Like so. Now complete the process on this wing. Now for the head part, I did find some material that had quite a nice like, kind of brown and pinky tinge to it. So I'm going to cut some feathers out using this and then stick them here. So I've cut two larger pieces out for the ears because we've already got the automatic shape. For this bit I've cut smaller pieces so that we can mould them easier. until it looks like this. Now we do need to pay attention to a beak so you need to look back through your colour palette and see what you can use. I found this interesting motif so I've cut it out and I'm paying particular interest to this little bit by here because that is just a really nice shape and a nice colour for my beak. Remember you're doing an abstract art piece so you're not going for conventional colours. Is whatever you want to do. And now for the tail. We need a dramatic darker colour for the tail so it looks like it's dark underneath. And I found some black lace on one of the items of clothing. So I'm going to cut long feathers for here, very similar to what we did in the wings. So 
So basically just cut them out and stick. So about that size is fine. Apply your glue and begin layering. Now if you look closely, he does have some little feet and even though you've got claws, there are feathers that come down onto those claws. So I've decided to use the fabric that I used for the head area. So all I need to do is cut out some tiny pieces this time. About this size. And then just gently stick them into place. Now for the claws, I'm going to use a yellow. So going back to my yellow felt, and I'm just colouring in some claws. Just to use a little bit of black just to define them. Now he is holding onto a branch, so with your brown felt, begin to draw the branch in. and keep going until it's complete. So I want to go back to the eyes and define them a bit more. I want to go back over the area where I put some yellow fabric in and just add a little tiny bit of yellow. And then using my black, just emphasise those eyes a little bit more. And there you have it, your finished owl piece of artwork made from some scraps of material of clothes that you were just about to throw out in the bin. It's amazing what you can make with anything around the house. So have some fun and have a go.